can borrow mine if you want. Sorry, I don't uh, share electronics till the third date. OK. No, I suppose it is quite intimate. Battery keeps dying. Phone batteries, they have a finite number of charging cycles. You like a tech bro, or...? I'm studying statistics at Yale. Wow. Subtle status drop there. British, you know, can't help myself. <laughs> I'm Oliver, by the way. As in twist. And they say Americans are uncultured. I'm Hadley. What is that? Nice to meet you. What are you studying? Dickens fan Hadley? I'm... undecided. Where are you headed? Uh, London. You? Same. Uh, I was going to go get some food. Do you want to come with? No, food would be great. What are you researching? Percentage of Americans who miss their flights. Hilarious. Very funny. I've always uh, hated airports. Really? I love them. Not a carbs guy? I just hate mayonnaise. I so hate it too, actually. Number two of my top three fears. What are the others? Dentists and small spaces. So, if claustrophobia is one of your biggest fears, then why are you about to embark on a seven-hour flight? A wedding. Did he just call our flight? Already? Um, I, shoot, I can't miss another one. Great. We're here, we made it. Okay. Um, it's uh, lovely to meet you, Hadley. Yeah. Good luck. You too? Good luck. What's a knot? I think my seatbelt's broken. You're right. Go dare. What are you? My seatbelt's broken. They have to move me. Well, this is unexpected. I would have thought you'd seen it coming, Mr. Predictive Analytics. Do you mind if I... Oh, thank you. Wipe you out. 29% of airplanes are not cleaned thoroughly. I made that one up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that the chances of this plane crashing are like one in five and a half million. Can we not talk about dying right now? Sorry. It's okay. What's your favorite color? Food? Animal? Yellow Mexican dogs, you? Blue, curry, and birds. You. What's your favorite number? Two. You? I. <laughs> You're such a nerd. Well, I think it's working. What, you being charming? No, me distracting you. It's good to know that you think I'm charming, though. The captain has just switched around. Thank you for that. No worries. So... so you're going to your dad's wedding? Yep. And you've never met his fiance? No. That's awful. Yeah. 50% <laughs> of marriages do end in divorce. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? Doesn't it? No. I think it just sucks. I like that weddings are a promise, I guess. Not everyone keeps their promises. Real love is about finding someone that will hold your hand when life gets rough. Wow, a second dinner date. Hmm. Things are moving fast. Do you want to join me at the cinema? Down for a cheesy rom-com. Okay. <laughs> as long as there's a happy ending. I like happy endings. <laughs> Well, historically, you and your dad were very close. The odds are you will eventually forgive him. You and the math thing. <laughs> yeah, it drives my brother nuts too. Are you guys close? Historically? You ask a lot of questions, don't you? Are you? But we're both very different. It's fine though, I'm used to it now. Is she okay now, your mom? She was in remission for 14 years, but it came back. I'm sorry. You're sort of dangerous, do you know? Me? I'm way too honest with you. Morning. Morning. This wedding of yours, where is it? Shoreditch, I think. Oh, Shoreditch, yeah, that's very cool, very hipster. My ceremony starts at noon, so. You should be fine, if you hurry. Sorry, no meeting the family till the fifth date. Says the girl who slept with me on the first. I'm breaking all my rules for you. Me too. Give me your phone. Okay. Text me so I've got yours. Sir, now. Cool. I'll oh. see you on the other side. Oh, shit. Hadley! So great to finally meet you. Yes. They take you there. I was told I thought uh, this was a memorial, so you thought I was dead. I'm very glad that you're not. It's pretty unusual for somebody to have their memorial before they die. It's kind of a genius idea, though. What? It's your dress. It's horrible. It's pretty. For a bruise. So how was it? A wedding? Yeah. Annoyingly nice. Oh, God, that sounds awful. It's the worst. 
I feel pretty shit that I just complained about my dad that entire flight. Why? Because he's not dying. Why didn't you tell me? It's a bit complicated, don't you think? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, only 9% of lung cancer patients make it past 10 years. Why do you always do that? What would you want me to say? Like anything, something that you really feel. <laughs> Sorry, I... You said to be honest. Sorry. That's the most honest thing I've done all day. I feel like you have a lot going on right now and you're pretending like none of it bothers you. Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to spill my guts out to some girl I just met on a plane. It was stupid of me to come. I didn't mean that. Tell your family I really enjoyed meeting them. Sorry. It's okay. Excuse me. Sorry, I think you left your bag. Thank you. I tried to measure my mum's life in, in numbers. It's what I do with everything. But the thing is, is that, well, Tessa Jones, it's not a number. She's my mum. I'm gonna miss you so much. I went to find this guy that I met on the plane. A guy? I don't know, I just felt like I needed to be there for him. That's insane, it makes no sense. Sounds like you were being brave. Oh, sure, you want me to crash your wedding? Oh, just go. Who cares what the odds are? Say something. You say something. You asked me what I was scared of when we met. Surprises. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared of being caught off guard by things like cancer or heartbreak. Okay, it would be really great if you could say something now. Do you like that surprise? Yeah, I suppose I could get used to those. Even from a girl you just met on the plane? Especially from a girl I just met on the plane. Well, did you know that one in every 50 relationships starts at now? What are you actually researching? The statistical probability of love at first sight. The course of true love never did run smooth. Hadley, a 20 years old American girl, needs to attend her father's wedding but misses her flight and has to wait for the next one. At the airport, she meets a guy named Oliver, a British math-obsessed student who is also flying to London to visit his family. They quickly get alone and feel a real chemistry between them. By another happy chance, they are seated on the plane together, which gives them more time to get to know each other and fall in love. After landing in London, Hadley and Oliver are separated by the passport line and there, their paths diverge. They don't even know one another's last names, so searching on social media is hopeless. But Hadley and Oliver don't want to give up on their feelings. During the day full of family events, dramas and coincidences, they find their way back to each other and prove that true love is stronger than any mathematical statistics and theories of probability.